Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. And today's date, it is December 30th, 2015. One more day to go, and then it will be 2016. This is a review of a three DVD set BBS, the documentary, by Jason Scott, the director, director, producer, I think everything. He traveled all over the United States. I, I don't know, maybe he went to Canada too, I don't know. To make this DVD about the early days of telecommunications, about uh, bulletin board systems. It is a great documentary, and I'm not just saying that because I'm in it, but I, I was in it. Uh, Jason came, I was in Carrollton, Texas. He came to Carrollton, Texas uh, to interview people for this documentary. Of course, he came to Texas not just to interview me, he came to interview others. And from that, he, well, of course, he traveled all over the United States. Uh, and he produced a three DVD set. And he did a fantastic job. Uh, I'm so glad that he saved the history and the stories. He, you know, he couldn't talk to everybody. He couldn't save everybody's story. He couldn't tell, you know, about every bulletin board system because when I started in Kansas City, Missouri, there was uh, two or three computer bulletin board systems. And then before long, there were hundreds in Kansas, just in Kansas City. Fantastic stories. Uh, one great thing is that uh, he couldn't put everything, you know, I was interviewed. Well, uh, he came, he set up his equipment, and I started talking, telling the story of how I set up my computer bulletin board system and about it. And uh, then after a what seemed a short period of time to me, I said, uh, Jason, maybe you'd like to ask a question. And he laughed and I, I said, and he said, and he said, uh, well, that's never happened before. And I said, what? And he said, uh, I've never started recording and somebody has talked nonstop without me asking a question for 45 minutes. And I said, oh, I'm sorry. And he said, no. He said, that was interesting. He said, that was something. So now, of course, I'm on the end. I mean, he has some people, Ward Christensen, you know, some of the, and the guy who uh, founded Fidonet. And there's a whole bunch of people, you know, that have some, I'm in there for four or five times for just a few, few seconds. But when this premiered, when the movie premiered out in California, San Jose at the uh, computer museum out there, I traveled out from California, from uh, Florida, I was in Florida, and I traveled out to California to see the premiere and to again get a chance to meet one hell of a guy, uh, Jason Scott and watch the documentary. And before it started, he, he said, Jim, you know, uh, I wanna, you know, tell you, I don't, I don't know if you're offended. I can, I can cut it out. The movie, you know, we haven't burned him to DVDs yet. I can, I can cut, he says, but uh, you get the biggest laugh in the entire documentary. And I said, I, I didn't know what it was, you know. I said, fine, don't cut a thing out, I'd love it. 
So it's in here. And it's the biggest laugh in the entire... So I should have... I missed out. I should have contacted a comedy club or the comedy channel. I must, I must be a comedian. I must have... I could have had a career. But uh, it'd be great... You know, please buy it if you can, because now Jason has said that he doesn't care. If, you know, it's if people want to copy it, that's fine, or you know, watch it some other way. You know, but it'd sure be great if uh, you could, because now I don't get none of us got anything. You know, we didn't. I didn't get anything because for my big laugh, uh, but. Uh, It'd be great to repay and thank Jason for saving this for posterity. And plus, I think he did about three hours. Of course, he could not get all these people that he interviewed. <clears throat> he has all those. He put some on the archive, uh, Internet Archive. <clears throat> he doesn't have mine on there. I think I might have said a few things during that three hours that uh, perhaps he doesn't want to uh, put on the archives. But um, it would be a great way to thank him for what he has done if you can purchase this. But it is on, in eight parts, uh, it's a number of, um, it's on YouTube in eight parts and you can watch it for free. But uh, it'd be great if you could purchase it. And if you can, heck, purchase a few extra copies and take them to your local library and say, hey, we don't want to forget what we want. We want these young whippersnapper, these young kids that, you know, we want them to know that who the pioneers were Without us, I don't know, there might not be what we have today that we so much enjoy. We didn't just suddenly wake up one morning and we had the Xbox. We didn't wake up one morning and the internet was there. You know, how did we get there? That's what you want to know about history for. Oh, are we uh, ready to roll? Yeah, we'll roll. What I have next to me is uh, the first uh, bulletin board in the world, uh, CBBS in Chicago. Uh, people wondered if the C stood for Christensen or Chicago or whatever, and uh, no, it didn't, because there was no such thing as a BBS, so it was a computerized bulletin board system. I would, I would enthusiastically describe it to everybody as you're telling them, like, relatives are like, so this is, uh, I, I would dial up. Oh, great. Anyway, I recommend you uh, purchase this. You'll really enjoy it, especially if you're one of us from the good old days. Thank you very much for watching this review.